Hi, hello, hi. So as you could probably tell already, uh, today's going to be another drawing video. Why? Because I like making them. I'm gonna be drawing people's drawing prompts today, but also just it would be some ridiculous things I could think about. So I'm not sure if someone sent these to me off my wish list or if I accidentally stole them off Amazon. So I was admiring <laughs> the uh, Copic Chow markers on Amazon and I added them to my wish list. But before, right before I added them to my wish list, I clicked buy now, that like buy with one click thing. And I was like, oh shit, oh shit. So I called and I had them cancel the order, uh, but then I received them anyway. And I, I don't know if someone sent them to me off my wish list or if they were just accidentally sent to me anyway, I'm not, I'm not sure. So if you sent me these Copic markers, um, I love you and I appreciate you so much. And if no one sent them to me, then uh, thanks, Amazon. I appreciate the accidental gift. Today, I want to try out the Copic markers. I'm really excited about it. So I've already tested them out a bit on this um, tiny Copic, Copic marker paper pad. Um, it's small, sorry, I don't have a larger sketchbook for now, but uh, as you can see, I was having some trouble with finding a fine liner that doesn't smudge. Uh, so I tried not using any liner, but then it's like, it's nice, it's soft, but sometimes I like to have that like hard edge, you know? Again, it's like, you can't tell once I fix it up, but I had to like go over those lines and I had to, it just made everything very bulky and I lost a lot of the detail I liked. Here too, I went over the lines after I shaded. Listen, don't ask. I just, sometimes I draw weird shit. These are my ants, this is me. But again, there's that smudging happening. I'm not too satisfied with the detail in the face because I had to go over with liquid paper and try and correct it and not touch any of the lines once I'm putting in the color. So it's just, it's a bit, it's a bit hard. So I'm going to try different fine liners. I hope they're not all dried up, but so far I did like a small test and uh, there weren't any issues with smudging. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna use this paper because even though it says that the Copic paper is leak proof, it always goes through the page. So I always joke with my friends that I'm actually a moth. I have a lamp tattooed to my leg and it's because I really like light. I'm actually afraid of the dark. And like for a lot of reasons, I just, I relate to moths. Sometimes people call them butterflies. Um, in French, they're called night butterflies, papillon de nuit. And I just, something about that is a little trend, a little like I'm a moth, but people are calling me a butterfly. Uh, part of it is just like for the memes. Part of it is because they're fuzzy and cute. Anyway. So so I'm going to draw myself as a moth. And my middle name is Matthew, but for all you know, it could be Mothew. Moth is short for Mothew. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's do this. So here's me as a moth. I try to clean up as I go because like one of my drawing pet peeves is when my hand smudges the uh, graphite and uh, then the whole page gets dirty and you have to keep erasing. So I'm trying to keep my hand clean and keep the page clean. I don't know how I dried up this pen so quickly. He's not just a moth man. He's the moth who can. Oh yeah, that's cute. Let's give him glasses so he looks more like me. Because apparently the one defining characteristic I think of when I think of myself are my glasses. So look, I don't really know what moths look like or what moth wings look like, so we're just we're just gonna wing it. Okay, let's start with like a really neutral color, I guess. Oh well, we're already making mistakes. Hmm, so all the browns I have are really intense. I don't have like every color here, obviously. Let's try this. Probably should have started with gray then rather than starting with colors. Okay, let's just do something weird then. Let's uh, go in with this. Okay, that's not bad. Um, you know, why can't moths be a little green? 
to be honest. Let's throw some green in there. Ooh, so alcohol markers are interesting because when you apply the color, it doesn't look the same as like, like it's almost like a chemical reaction. Maybe that's exactly what it is and I'm just like late to the game. I didn't get the memo on time, but um, yeah, it looks like a chemical reaction. I like that. Like you could actually, it looks like you could lighten something by coloring over it with a different color. And it almost looks like what happens when you get bleach on a shirt, you know? So, okay, well, that did that. Uh, okay, let me test my theory about the chemical reaction thing. Let me see if I put this really light color on the outside. Yeah, see? It lightens it. Interesting, so it's a little more forgiving than you would think if you're used to using just like regular markers. It does make a bit of a like wet line where the dark meets the light when you do that, unless if like the dark is like bleeding away. Not quite sure if that makes sense, but uh, it's still cool. It's still super cool that it does that. Listen, moths aren't exactly fun colors. I don't know if you've ever seen one. So sorry for all the really bland colors happening here. So he's gonna have yellow highlights. And that's because, of course, he's looking at the light. Because he's a moth, you get it? Do you get it? You, did you get that subtle humor? Thanks. Oh, okay, good, I'm glad that mark is there now. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how to achieve that with these markers. Oh, good, the, uh, just as I suspected, the fine liners do, in fact, bleed. Okay, so you can layer the colors to darken, which is cool. I'm glad it does that. And I guess we'll do our really light green. I feel like we need some green because of the green we put into the wings. Let's see if I could calm down some of that green. Okay, now he looks a little too naked. So yeah, no, we really do need to choose what color he's gonna be. It is <clears throat> missing something. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sometimes you make something and uh, it uh, ends up being this. Cool, so this is um, <clears throat> Matthew Mansweeney. Uh, I assure you that any similarities in the name are um, strictly coincidental. This is definitely not my moth Sona. That would be weird. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is this. It's that now. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Next, I want to draw a motivational lizard. The reason being that the other day I was looking at pictures of lizards because I do things like that sometimes. But I was looking at pictures of iguanas specifically, and I noticed that a lot of the time they look like they're screaming. And I was wondering, like, what would they say if they were screaming? Like, what would they be yelling? And I thought it would be fun to imagine that they're just yelling positive affirmations. So um, that made me really want to draw a motivational lizards. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to write a positive affirmation that resonates with me. I'm sorry if it seems strange to you if it doesn't resonate with you, but um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Not exactly sure what color lizards are, but we're gonna go with uh, green.
positive affirmation lizard says, you are worth loving. I don't know if that's something that resonates with anyone else, but for me, that's important because I started to believe that I was not worth loving and I was not worth time, I was not worth effort, I wasn't worth anything. So here's my positive affirmation lizard. I hope that he reminds you that you matter. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents, right, Bob? I never picked him up from the mall. Anyway, so these are our drawings for the day. We have Matthew Mansweeney, and then we have our inspirational lizard yelling positive affirmations at you when you feel bad. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was fun getting to experiment with the Copic markers. They're incredible. Super expensive, but um, if you could afford them or if Amazon sends them to you by accident or maybe a mystery gift giver sends them to you as a gift, <laughs> uh, then they're definitely worth it. These are really fun to work with. They blend really well. Uh, there's a very small learning curve, but it's definitely worth it for the results. They're fun to work with. They're not really like any other medium I've used before. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your drawing prompts in the comment section. I love seeing them and I love drawing them. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a great week and you take care of yourselves. All right, thanks, bye.